Hey guys and gals, Necroline here, and welcome back to Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I am going to apologize now, though, because I'm not going to do it later in the episode. But, I am sorry that, you know, I had to basically cut the episode very, very short uh, in the last episode. Uh, I'm just starting back here when we fought Radioactive Man and uh, Winter Soldier, so just so you guys have a clear consensus of what exactly happens afterwards. Other than that... Let's start. I'm just gonna skip this whole thing because we've already heard it. We'll just fight these guys. We'll take out Winter Soldier first. This is kind of the easiest. And so now he's just kind of kicking my butthole in. He's actually. They're relatively the easier ones. The bosses do actually kind of get a little bit harder. Boom. Winter Soldier, get out of here. Well, so I was waiting for a thing to go down. Pick up the bionic arm. Well, not bionic arm, but whatever. Oh well. See, the sheep are I people thought it was adamantium. At first. Now we have. And then he just talks about um, going to fight, you know, the very unsakely beast that is Fing Fang Foom. Look at this, and we'll give him a little radioactive touch. You can also go see what they look like, too, if you go over here and then go to uh, gear. Bionic Garm gives me plus, uh, plus five striking. And the radioactive touch gives me plus five melee damage as radiation. So, it's really just kind of one of those things. And now we're gonna go fight Fing Fang Foom. Apparently, it's a giant ass dragon. I actually don't know much about Fing Fang Foom, to be honest. He's kind of a relatively. I don't want to say he's new to me, but he's relatively a different character to me, I should say. I'll change my uh, team up after the Hell Carrier, just to kind of give a different variation of the team. Uh, I'm not gonna do like uh, I'm not gonna do like the Fantastic Four or whatnot. I actually I might I'm not totally sure yet. But I'm like I'm gonna change my team so everybody kind of gets a chance to level up and you know be useful. But yeah, that's Fing Fing Foom for you. All right, let's see. Girl Fury, we just got out of the elevator. Sorry if you heard a, like, uh, you heard a, like, an echo. I had my volume on my TV up because I was playing, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn last night. So, yeah. There's that. I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. Now I get some big thing. Mind you, that's if you heard an echo. I'm not sure you guys did or not. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know why people decide to be my computer and turn shit on, but... I don't know if you guys are gonna hear, like, a beeping sound if you do. It's just, you know... Freaking the Facebook messenger going off. It's no big deal. Other than that... Let's get right down to it. I don't think we actually fight... Uh... Dude, I swear to God, the thing's pissing me off now. I'm about to... Go through and just fucking. Uh, turn it off, to be honest. Because I can hear it through my headphones. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. I'm hoping you really can't, because it does get annoying every 10 seconds. But if you can, I do apologize. I'm really just dead. Get rid of it. I don't think you guys can, but I'm not gonna, gonna take the chance either. But yeah, I got the uh but getting back to you my situation with um laptop. It's I believe the reason my technical difficulties are happening so frequently is because I don't have a uh, direct link to my um to my laptop. It's plugged, what it is, is I have a, uh, 
external USB uh, four a four piece uh, external USB ports. I mean, it has four four extra USB ports in it, and that's what I use to hook up my, my mic up, my uh, uh, Elgato to, and I hook my uh, two terabyte hard drive to. Well, what it is. Is I, uh, I'm assuming because none of my cables are broke, my elevator works perfectly fine, nothing's corrupted, and it's up to date. I do check, uh, make sure there's updates every so often. Uh, yeah, we have to go outside to fight Fame Fame Fame. But, I believe it's just because it doesn't have a direct link to my laptop. Fight's over, and that's you who lost. Hey, uh, you guys forgot a period after Earth, but hey, that's just me. I'm not gonna let that happen. I don't know, you're kinda human yourself, it looks like. What am I kidding me from the giant dragon? But we have to get on the guns. Yeah, get have fun listening to that sound. You're gonna hear it a lot. Which unfortunately we kinda just had to be able to shoot Fiend Fang Foom and it's not an easy target. As you can see, it's like a really, really particular hitbox. It's very, very specific for hitbox. Oh, come on! I freaking hit him! There we go. Like I said, it's very, very specific for a hitbox. It comes down. Ow! Gotta kind of beat this shit out of him when I can. You kinda of gotta get in there and really lay waste to him. Problem is, like, you can't get, like, yeah, so you can't sit in combo and then, you know, do nothing. You really gotta kind of lay waste to him the best you can before he actually gets a chance to do anything. There we go. Got him again. Two for two. Actually, I went two for seventy-four. If you ask me. Yeah, you really kind of got a combo and then block. It's really how you're gonna be able to just win this battle. Which, ironically, he's really the only one who can who really does this much like actual damage to you. Yeah, beat. The, ouch! I was gonna say beat the shit out of Fing Fang Foom. Yeah, that's me. I'm gonna go to the Colossus on this one, because I like Colossus. We should have one more thing with the gun, and that should be good. I mean, that should be good enough to defeat Fing Fang Fu, mind you. Did I shoot down a Hell Carrier? What was that? Grrr! Take these bastards out of my man. I knew as I do something, so I did that. There we go. Finished off thing, thing, thing. He kind of just falls, which is kind of funny, in my opinion. That wasn't the most graceful battle I've ever 
ever seen, but you saved the helicarrier. Save the helicarrier. Yeah, you're welcome. When you're done in that area, come back to the bridge. We're moving everyone to Stark Tower before we begin our next mission. Yep, next mission. Come back to the bridge. Yeah, we move to Stark Tower. Jeez. I'll meet you back on the freaking bridge. Go inside. Yep, now. Yep, alright, here we go. Just kind of cutscene now. Why is he always late? Man, these graphics. Hello, team. Welcome to Stark Tower, my pride and joy. It's 40 stories of heaven on earth. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with just a few billion dollars. We are now a team? Yes. I've been empowered by S.H.I.E.L.D. to create a task force to stop the Masters of Evil. But the helicarrier was so badly damaged that it can't be used as a headquarters. Fortunately, Tony is willing to let us stay here for the duration. It has all the facilities we'll require. Believe me, it's no problem at all. And I called in a few old friends to help us out. Feel free to walk around and meet them. I'd suggest you meet Hank Pym first, since he's in charge Hank of equipment. Pym first. The Vision is here as our information officer. Great. We got a computer to talk to the computers for us. When you're ready to go on a mission, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He'll take you there in one of my Quinjets. Speaking of that, what is our next Quinjets. mission, Colonel? Really? I recently received a radio transmission from Dum Dum Dugan requesting that I come to the Omega base. <laughs> there was something questionable Dum -dum -dugan. in this message. You think it might be a trap? Maybe. I can't be sure. For more information, God. talk to the Black Widow. I'm just gonna say this now, just think of like the graphics were like you know Uh I forgot what I was gonna say if I like, like two thousand seventeen graphics extract. Ah right, we're in only in act one, right? Change team. Extraction is just getting back to the main area. Uh, I like Colossus. Venom, did you freaking you died, Venom? Good job. We'll grab uh, Moon Knight again. Moon Knight. And we'll grab Sabretooth. Sabretooth. Where are your abilities? Saber Slash and Berserker Rage. You can get the Brotherhood Evil too, if I'm correct. But it's like you have to have um. I believe one of the characters is Mystique, so you need her, and then you need one other person. You just got Magneto and Sabretooth, so. Uh, let's see. Let's go to you, and we will put in. Put in Electra. Electra. You are yeah. the best. Pick whatever the hell team I want. Per sure, Mr. Stark. Yeah, we you really can't you can't roll or anything here. Let's talk to Vision real quick. Greetings. My name is Vision. I will be your primary source of information concerning any persons or locales you might encounter. Encounter. Unfortunately, my line to the Shield database has a security issue. Would you retrieve a decryption module from Black Widow and bring it to me? Uh, thank you, Vision. I, I'm, I'm not much caring that much. Talk to Hank Pym. Hi, my name's Hank Pym. Doctor Hank Pym. Oh, it's good to see you. I've heard you're going to the Omega base. If you see my cybernetic helmet, could you bring it back to me? It'd be my pleasure. Come back. Yeah, you kind of get like little side missions and such as you go about. Kind of like search for people's like helmets and shit. Oh, there's something right here. What's this? This is a body upgrade. Okay, one body. Plus one body. Which, if I'm correct, that's per our stats, which body increases health. She's got plus one, plus one health. Striking upgrade. Let's go to Moon Knight. 
But I don't think Moon Knight got any upgrades yet. Anybody else I can talk to? Got a sketchbook. That's why Wingfoot. Well, there's some other stuff kind of around here that we pick up. This is a focus upgrade. Let's get that to Moon Knight because Moon Knight's a kind of, I believe, kind of a focus person. Who knows? Right. I'm just kind of looking around real quick. Starks. Tony Starks cufflinks. Okay. Questionable, but alright. Uh, you? Possibly? Question mark? Was there up here? Yeah, that's where that striking upgrade was? A body upgrade. Alright, let's start the wire because it's kind of just. I got nothing. I think I have anything else to figure out here. Dr. Wyatt. Uh, the name's Wyatt Wingfoot. In case you didn't know, I'm your pilot while you're here at Stark Tower. We'll be taking the Quinjet when you're ready to leave on a mission. Any yeah, favor I want to ask? Sure. What do you need? The final letter type appeared on a hulk here. Can you discreetly find someone to see what's on? Discreetly? As in, don't let Fury know? Yeah, I can do that. Give me a little bit. I think I know just the person to ask. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's take this to Mega Base. I was stuttering the audio there, but it'll be fine. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message requesting I meet him at the Omega base for a report on the latest super soldier serum. What's so suspicious about that? Dr. Banner was to give the report. The only thing is, Banner has been working on the Gamma Bomb project, not the super soldier serum. Dugan would never make a mistake like that. Oh well, yeah, that makes sense. The Omega base. It's a mobile lab that's over five stories tall. We use it for field testing experiments. Oh, Shield's the greatest. Flying aircraft carriers, office buildings on wheels. Oh, please tell me you've got a tunnel that runs from New York to Tokyo. Spider-Man, this is serious. Colonel, is there anything on Well, you're talking about Spider-Man. Come on, he's going to be a wise-cracking asshole. If the contents of that vehicle were to fall into the wrong hands, it would be disastrous for all mankind. Disastrous for all mankind. Exactly what are you developing that could threaten the entire planet? That's classified. So it's all right for us to save the vehicle. We just can't know what's going on there. Correct. Now, if I may continue, the team's mission will be to sneak on board the Omega and sneak locate on board the Omega. He should be able to bring you up to speed on the situation. Any questions? Oh, <laughs> really? All right. Good luck. Yeah, a lot. I got one. Why the hell am I doing this? Uh, we made it. Why we're on board the Omega base? Good. One thing I want to point out. Your command will be tried out soon. Okay. Good luck in there. Let me know when you want to leave. Quiet out. Up Team, satellite recon shows the Omega base is now on a collision course with Bondrak Dam. Thousands of lives are now in danger. You must stop the Omega at all costs. Did they fight Mardok here? I think his name is. Modok, whatever it's for. The guy with the giant freaking head. That's all I know what he looks like. I'm just gonna uh, do this, I'm gonna expand the map a little bit. Eh, punch the wall, you know how it goes. Eh, people should know how it goes. Anyways, can we roll some stuff up real quick? How do we roll up? I don't know. I know you're able to level up, but I guess it's automatic level up. That's Dum Dum Doog, apparently. Good, they sent a team. I was afraid I'd been a little too clever with my message to the Colonel. Dude, what happened here? Someone used the base's ventilation system to spread a knockout gas. When I woke up, Dr. Doom demanded I bring Colonel Fury here. If I refused, Fury. he was going to ram the Omega into the Bondrak Dam. Who's saying he was on the bar and Mag still heading for the dam? Well, there's no time to waste. Get me to the engineering control room. From there, I'll override navigation and stop this monster. Alright, navigation and stop this stress. Cool. We gotta make sure Dugan doesn't die. That's awesome. Aim, trooper. Well, you know what they say. Troopers need to aim. Well. 
It's kind of ironic that I have Sabretooth fighting with me, but, you know, what? it's not that weird. I mean, do you like the Age of Apocalypse? X-Men Age of Apocalypse? It's kind of the same situation. The Brother of Evil and uh, X-Men work together in that game to really kind of stick it to the enemy. Keep pressing the wrong button. Losing you kind of suck, just leave it to us. Moon Knight, hold up. Ouch. Can I bust this wall? I cannot. And I can't even open the door. Damn. Sometimes you can break through stuff. Oh, Juggernaut. Is that? Nope, it's not Juggernaut. No, it's just a super soldier. Failed experiment on a super soldier. I see. Captain is usually uh, pretty much the. Uh, Perfect super soldier. Oh, fucking ooh, puberty, you know how that goes. I'm just kidding. But they say Captain America is like the perfect super soldier, followed closely by Bucky. Just mostly due to the simple fact that I don't know how but just basically followed by the fact that you know of how he acts. Section you're in contains the primary drive train. If you could disable it, the Omega base would be forced to switch to the secondary drive. Oh, would that make a difference? Not much, but it'd give you more time to reach the top of the base. That's true. Alright, I see where you're going with this, Dugan. Okay, we'll see what we can do, thanks. It kind of does pay to kind of break these things because then you get to like kind of search around at the same time. Boom. Drive train broke. I want to check something real quick. Because she has Nerve Strike, she has Ninja Stars. I'm going to buy that because it's nice. And then she has Focus Chi. Alright. That was the only thing I wanted to buy. Or check out. Yeah, give me dual shot. Stat. Oh, I can't buy stat sign. How much does stat sign cost? Quarters level five. I can't seem to buy it yet. Alright. What's that? At least some people have, you know, their next hit me. Get off me, bro. You to buy me dinner first. Don't be an asshole. Ooh. Yeah, hers is kind of cool because I believe you charge up. She has like a backflip too and shit. Yeah, we won't be getting our ultimates for a little bit, anyways. Oh, no, no, no. I thought she did a backflip. It's only her ultimate that she has a backflip. Electric more, Electra more often, to be honest. She's not in many shows. I believe she's in the Daredevil show, that's about it. Electra's kind of one of my favorite non superhumans. I can't do anything from this control room. So what can we do? We have to stop the Omega base somehow. Not to worry, there's a control room just ahead. Hopefully, Doom left it alone. Get me there, we should be fine. I doubt he left it alone, but hey. There's always a chance. We can be lucky, can't we? No, as you can see, that's why uh, I kind of break all the barrels and such because they do, they give you money, so you can able to buy new skill and shit. And I'll give her another body upgrade. I think she has the least health of them all. No, oh, there's no. So what is it? Simulator disc. You have a shield similar to this that contains the comic mission Captain America now or Turk. We can always look those up later anyways. Uh, I believe the similar to just run through like certain comics for different characters. I don't exactly remember if it's like a mission or whatnot, but I'm not, I wasn't going to dive into it and have to restart this whole mission over again. Yeah, yeah, I think we have to buy all our skills. Uh, we, we're in our clips at what level? 
10, okay. Still can't buy this yet. Syracuse is pounce. Looks like it might cost like a thousand each, I'm assuming. But I can't be too sure. It's been a while since I have actually played this game, and as I said, I actually have never played a Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Yeah, like, like I told you, I can break certain items. You can break, like, railings and such, and you can break through doors. But it depends. I believe it depends on, like, the level and everything. Who the hell are you again? Who's in Dynamo? Who's If anybody knows who Crimson Dynamo is, put it in the comics, please. Comics. Comments. What the fuck you, Crimson Dynamo? It is wise that you fear me. For with my recent upgrades, I could crush you all like grapes. Crush you like grapes. You are clearly Russian with that accent. I know that's stereotypical, but I mean, just saying. We're not afraid, we're just in a hurry to stop the base from crushing into the dam. You are destined to lose, for I will not. I will not let you stop the base. Alright, we're just gonna test those upgrades. This person's starting to piss me off. I'm so glad I can actually, like. Oh, dude, we got you now. We got you. Oh, we are gonna. We got missiles apparently. Oh, we got, switching Moon Knight. Oh, we got you now, bro. We got you now. Oh, we're switching Deadpool dudes. You got a dual shot. The dual shot's kind of cool because like you hold it and it just goes. It's not like anything special, but it does like mass amounts of damage as you've seen. Because it just is a continuous. It's just a continuous stream of actually uh, just actual damage. He's not exactly hard, but he's not exactly like you know, a lightweight either. Sure. There we go. Good night. We'll grab a uh, Luke Cage's belt. That's actually an interesting concept there. All right, let's break these real quick. Kind of actually help. Don't I guess. There's just a side objective. You know, I never actually found a cybernetic helmet before. Uh, Dugan, we did. The drive train is down. Okay. Uh, will this keep the base from destroying the No, but it gives us a little more time to stop the mega. I guess we better get moving. Cool. And we can switch the team if we really wanted to. Which I'm not presuming well presume we do. Now, let's see about stopping this behemoth. Blasted. All controls have been locked down. Except Except controls on the upper bridge. There's nothing you can do. Correct. Correct. Well, stop. The Omega base from there. Okay, but you stay here, dude, and we'll need you to use the security cameras to see what's in store for us. Sounds like a plan. Good luck. Sounds like a plan. Good luck. Change the team. Let's switch saber tooth out for. Yeah, the one thing I don't understand is why we can play as Doctor Doom. Like, why? What? I guess it just confuses me. Uh, who have we used? We'll go with Spider Woman. Spider Woman. She's got Venom Blast, Ensnare, and Attract. That's kind of cool. That's pretty dope. I'm going to have to look up how we get, like, uh... Certain weapons. I mean, certain not weapons. And, uh, certain, uh, like, our costumes and everything. We're gonna go with Luke Cage. We're gonna throw Luke Cage in there. Why not? Yeah. Look at those spiked gloves. Just, like, looks like a total badass. We're gonna save the game real quick. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna say this. Rain now in Horizon Zero Dawn. Alright. 
effectively one main mission, so I may record another episode of that. I'm not totally sure about Horizon Zero Dawn right now, guys. Uh, I'm going to be ending the episode soon, so don't worry. But, uh, I don't know about Horizon Zero Dawn, because it's such it's going to be such a long game with me doing all the side quests, and, you know, doing the cauldrons, and bandit camps, and things of that nature. Uh... So, I may actually come back to it. So, don't freak out. There is a chance I'll come back. Other than that, I am obviously playing uh, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. I am playing Kingdom Hearts. I am playing Dark Rose Valkyrie. But that's kind of like a every so often kind of episode. Which, I think about now is a good time to film another episode. But we're playing that, we're playing uh, Assassin's Creed, we're playing Borderlands, and we'll be playing Rage when I get it. Other than that, uh, we are not going to be playing much else. I mean, I do have a drawer full of games, don't get me wrong, but I am going to kind of wait until I lower the set number of games I have. Uh, I have to boot up Borderlands. Once Assassin's Creed's done, I'm going to take a small break. To kind of work on, you know, finishing up Kingdom Hearts and working on this game. And then working on uh, Borderlands as well. Uh, with Borderlands, then I'm going to do the same thing I do with Dark Rolls Valkyrie. It's going to be an every so often episode. So it's not going to be like, expect it every single episode. It's kind of going to be... What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to work on filming a uh, couple episodes a day if I can. Uh, tomorrow, it's today's Saturday when I'm filming this. Uh, tomorrow I work 2 to 8. Yeah, it's Sunday, it's really weird. It's a really weird schedule. Uh, so before I go to work, we film an episode. And when I get out, I'll be filming an episode or 2, depending on how I feel. Uh, probably an episode two, episode two. So we'll be doing Kingdom Hearts and you know Assassin's, trying to finish up Assassin's Creed. Actually, that's one of the things I want to work on is trying to finish up Assassin's Creed. Other than that, I'm not relying. This is Marvel Alliance, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe.